Look over there. Over there. Look. <laughs> So I'm finally out in the garage. I was putting it off a little bit because it's raining here and I thought that the rain would go in the garage, but it's just sprinkling. So I was using that as an excuse along with the excuse that I can't move. <laughs> so when I mean I can't move, I shouldn't say I can't move. I should say, A, I don't wanna move. B, it hurts to move. Every single muscle in my body hurts. Everyone. She said that there were 101 bicep curls in the routine that we were doing. I felt every one. My biceps hurt so bad along with my triceps, my glutes, my quads, my hamstrings. <sighs> I am pleasantly surprised that this wood is not red. I am so happy. I'm going to give it a quick sanding so we can see exactly what it will look like. This gives me hope and I will continue to work on the other drawers and, and the actual dresser. Um, I did take, for some reason they put something in here and I scraped that out and this looks like wood. It's not metal. I was going to use, um, what's it called? I want to call it hobnob. It's not hobnob. What is it called? Oh, rub and buff. <laughs> I wanted to use rub and buff, but I think it is actually wood, so that's not going to work. So I popped those back in the dresser, and I cannot wait to see them all wiped off. Actually, tomorrow I am going to take them and run them, them under the hose again because I think there's still citrus strip in there but I think it's gonna be gorgeous when it's done. And I'm gonna start these other two drawers today. I'm gonna to put the saran wrap on them and the citrus strip. So I'm still working on this gem. I made a template yesterday for this piece and it is almost the perfect size but I did not want to cut it too small so what I'm going to do is sand this edge down it's just a smidge and just sand it so it just pops right in there so hopefully I will get this done today need to run to the hardware store and get a drill bit for this so I can get those made and after that I just need to finish sanding it in all these little edges all these these areas and then I can finish it. Uh, I did originally want to put a new top on this, but Rob did not like the idea just because of all these characteristic marks, which, which I agree, but it would have been a lot easier. <laughs> but it's okay. It's going to look good when it's done. And it's in. I sanded and sanded and then just hammered it in there, and it fits really well. I did add a little uh, wood filler mixed with a little bit of sawdust and I just filled in the edges so then I will sand it again. The color isn't exactly perfect but I'm thinking when I sand this down hopefully I can get rid of a lot of this black yet and then I do need to add some type of support under here to keep it from falling through. I don't think it will but you know going from outdoor to indoor it might change this a little bit because of the wood um, and the humidity and stuff like that. So that is my next project along with getting these holes filled. So Betty and I are going to take a trip to the hardware store. I need, it's not a drill bit because it's not making a hole. It's making a round thing that will make a plug to put in the hole, whatever that's called. That's what I need. And I forgot, I need some knobs for the front of the, the cash register drawer. So. Today was going to be the day that I was just going to stay home and get things done and not get in old Betty. But guess what? Betty and I are going to town. 
I don't know if you're like me, but when you come in to look at the knobs at Hobby Lobby, it is so overwhelming. Like, oh, help me. So I went to Home Depot and the man there was so awesome because he suggested an oak dowel rod. I had a dowel rod, but it wasn't oak. So that solved my problem right there. I'm gonna get it done. Manana. So I am making turkey burgers on the grill. They are frozen Genio. You just pop and take them out of the freezer and throw them on the grill. But I, every time I grill, I always have a question about these and about this grill mat. These come in a set of three. That's a medium, this is a large, and then it comes with this little thing. I use this for salads, and then this I use for grilling along with the big one. The grill mats come in a box of, there are two in a box. You literally throw them on the grill, cook your food, and clean them off. They are perfect for camping or, you know, things like that where you don't want to clean your grill and all the goo gets down in, especially like barbecue stuff. These are perfect.